Right, okay, let's see what we've got. First of all, we've got the foot pedal. Uh, it's got a connector. It's got a little notch in there. Uh, connects in there. Screws in. Uh, seems to have all seven pins uh, connected. Uh, the body of it is uh, it's got a little valve cover there. Um, I've watched videos online where uh, the foot pedal has a, a little gauge to set the amps as well, uh, but this one doesn't, so it'll just go by. The ones you set on the front, the high and low voltage. Um, I'm going to press it in. Um, it's not. It's not very smooth. Um, it's like got stages to it, so it won't be an infinite control. It'll go in little steps. On, on the first step, you can hear a little click. That must just be the on off switch and then the rest is uh, guiding the power uh, like a rubber, rubbery coating to it which looks ok um, Next we've got the, the earth clamp looks quite good quality, it's got a little uh, copper braid in there to transfer it through to the other side to get a good ground. It's a lot better than my uh, stick welder ground, uh, which is good. Uh, the other side has uh, this connector that's got like a little notch in it. Um, what we've got in there like that is much. Then uh, tight. Yeah, that's tight. Got it again. And now we've got the uh, the stick clamp holder. Uh, the machine does uh, stick as well, by the way. Uh, where is it? Yeah, T M A. Uh, don't really plan to use the stick. Uh, at all. Uh, as I say, I've not had much success with stick welding with what I want to weld. Uh, but that, that looks a good quality, it's a lot better quality than my one. Uh, which is just, the welder is just a cheap £100 B&Q thing. I probably got it about four years ago to weld a bit of exhaust and used it on and off since, but mm, not really had much success with it. So, hope I'll have more success with this. Um, got um, a hose, cheap rubbery hose, it reinforced with something or other. Um, it's got like um army navy type uh, connectors, same both ends, and held on there with a bit of a, um, a hose clip of some kind. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be okay, even though it feels a bit cheap. Um, now I've got the um, the torch accessories. And now I've got two, I don't know what the name is, but the end things. I've got a long one and uh, a really short one. Uh, um, and then we've got um, we've got three cups, I think that's what they're called, cups, and uh, four pieces of tungsten, and two uh, brass assemblies. Um, size is that, 2.4 millimeter, and 1.6 millimeter. Um, and yeah, we've got we've got four pieces of tungsten, um, 
two of the 1.6 and two of the 2.4 and in red and white uh, two of each now I've got these cups uh, number five uh, by the way when I first started watching videos about TIG welding these always look like rubbery to me uh, not they're like uh, Uh, like a ceramic type material um, I guess that's for heat heat protection or whatever uh, number 5, number 4 and number 6 and now we've got the uh, the torch itself uh, from videos I've watched I've never really seen anyone using these big torches what is it? 226. They've always used like a really thin, uh, narrow torch. Um, but I'll give it a go and see how it is. Uh, I have no expectations, uh, no preconceptions about what, how to do this, so I'm just going to try it. It's got a really the button on it is really soft. At first I was pressing it and thinking um, it's not working. Why is it not switching? But it's just a really soft, soft touch, which is good I suppose. Um, never really like the look of these that have the um, the rubber sh the rubber sheath around them. Um, it's, I think it's just to protect the cables from getting dirt or wearing. Uh, wearing out or stuff like that. Yeah, but I kind of don't like that. It doesn't feel like it would move around very well. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Got the uh, same power connector there. Got the um, the switched connector which will go into the torch connector. So I've got two pins connected, which is just a switch. Um, and I've got this uh, gas gas tube which is like a it's got a braided coating on it and it's just like a nylon or something um, it's not got a connector on the end but I think um, I'll move it over here on the front of the panel yeah it's got like a a barbed hose connector so you can just push that on there and then obviously leave that on and screw that on and it'll be tight um, and the last thing is uh, this was in that white box it's just it's the um, the regulator uh, it's got two gauges inlet which I think is the the pressure of the gas in the tank and we've got liters per minute which is flow so that'll be the flow output to the machine it's got um, the army navy type uh, actor on the other side I'm not really sure what this is I think it I don't know it could be a bleed valve I'm not sure but um, I'll have a read and find out and it's got the connection for the tank uh, let me just take that off oh, first thing has gone wrong the, the cover of the valve has fallen off anyway, uh, this connector it seems to have like a some kind of filter in there, I'm not sure what that is anyway it's a big chunky connector for a big gas bottle to run it on um, I don't know for sure but to run it on smaller um, disposable things I think you need a different connector but yeah. you need a different connector to run it on those um, anyway that's about it um, if you've got any questions, if you're thinking of buying this, 
let me know, see if I can answer them. I've, obviously, I've never used this yet, so uh, I'll do my best if I can. Um, it's not got an instruction book, by the way. So if you want to have um, the instructions to carry around with you, you'll have to get the PDF and print them off. Uh, it's no big deal, but it would have been nice to have uh, that as well. Anyway, I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.